back again. Um, this is my documentary reflection. Um, so the thing about the documentary is I had a really kind of hard time understanding what it was supposed to be about, um, what the themes were within it. So I actually watched it twice, which I think was very informational. Like, again, sometimes documentaries, they don't have to have set points of what's going on with them. And this one definitely didn't. You had to really dig and think about it to try to find the themes. Um, so yeah, watching it the first time, I just did not understand the themes, what they were trying to portray within them. Um, so I watched it a second time, and the overall theme that I got through this was different styles of play within different cultures, different locations, and just different settings of life. Um, and I thought this was important because obviously no matter where you go, they don't have the same resources, they don't have the same lifestyles, nothing like that. I mean, I live, in Dac I live in Spokane now, but I was born and raised in Tacoma, and even those two areas in the same state are two very different places. Um, so yeah, let alone different countries, um, different states, different continents, um, all different. Uh, so I thought that was a very important thing that got portrayed within this and struck me as important was that no matter where you go, it's different. Um, not everyone has the same resources, same lifestyles, nothing like that. Um, so that was very interesting to me. Another thing that struck me as important was um, something that we try to establish here in the U.S., but we don't really, um, is, and, but a lot of other cultures do, especially within the documentary, was the way they play outside. Everything is done outside. There's a lot of them don't even have technology, so that's not even a part of their daily play. Their daily play is outside, using resources, going with the weather, um, just having fun with it, finding their own ways to be creative, um, and keep themselves entertained. Uh, even in some of the cultures that I saw throughout the video, uh, they're like chores or even fun ways for them to be interactive within their playing. Um, so I thought that was super important, is that just using the resources that they have. Um, being creative, using their mind, definitely helps with the development of cognitive abilities and creativity. Um, so I thought that was super important and interesting. Um, I really think I'm trying to think. It was a very interesting documentary, but super kind of really I do a lot of thinking. Um, but yeah, and then here in the U.S we use a lot or more developed cultures, um, countries, I mean, uh, they use a lot more physical items to above them play, more, less than natural, outdoorsy kind. Um, also, what I found super interesting was just the interaction between the kids, um, in more of the underdeveloped countries, there's a lot more interaction between the kids around them nearby them, anything like that, then in more developed countries, more developed countries, it's a lot more like independent, small social interaction, but um, kind of keeps the people that they're comfortable with, stuff like that, but in underdeveloped countries, they're all over interacting with anyone that they can, anyone that's willing to interact with them, um, so I thought that was super interesting. Um, what else would I have wanted to see in a documentary like this? Um, more of like also like the parents' views on the playing I think would be super interesting. It was really all about kids, which is always great. Of course, like this is what it's about, children. But also like we always talk when we talk about play. We also talk about how uh, it's not really seen or like kids shouldn't be playing. They should be more focused on becoming adults. Even if they are very young, they should be doing things, getting ready for them for their adult life. Um, so I thought it would be really cool if we could have seen more of their adults interaction within it, or even more of adults interacting with kids, which also isn't super common here, or more developed countries. Um, how does this relate to what you're learning about training strikes? Um, I don't really 
know about how it evolved with children's rights. Of course, like obviously children's rights to play, it's how they learn cognitive, develop cognitively, emotionally, physically, everything, any kind of development in a child is highly influenced by their playing. Um, also gives them the right to do it, kind of have that individuality, um, or like one of the big rights for children is that they are human, they are individuals, um, so this definitely shows that, that they use their individuality to keep themselves occupied, to be creative, anything like that, so, um, that would be like my biggest take from this, um, and connecting it to children's rights, um, but yeah.